I need to add a bit of contrast to the logo. So I'm going to do that by um, making the text a bit darker. So I'm going to select the, uh, the type tool, select the text and change this text color to say this brown. Okay, that looks great. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. And then I'm just going to click OK to apply. Okay, I need to move this fresh and tasty text. So I'm going to click once on it and then I'm going to use the up arrows just to nudge it into position. Okay, next I need to add a line to that fresh and tasty text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the custom shape tool, hold it down and select the line tool. I want to click once and then just drag across. Okay, with that layer selected, I'm going to double click to change the color and I want to select this dark brown and then I'm going to click OK to apply. Then click the, whole, the move tool. Okay, not too bad. So what I'm going to do is because the line is cutting across the text, I need to make sure that this part of the line is clear from the text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask. So you do that by coming right to the bottom here and then clicking once you get the layer mask. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on the brush tool and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger by pressing the right bracket key and then just pressing once or maybe a few times. And then I'm going to click the move tool. Okay, excellent. We're almost done now. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rearrange and rename these layers and group them into the, uh, and group the layers into the appropriate groups. Okay, so let's go ahead and start naming the groups. Okay, so this is the line we just created. So all this is going to go to the header section. So I'm just going to hold down the control key to select these layers. Click on this icon and choose new group from layers and name this layer header. Okay, so I'm going to hide this palette. I'm going to make sure everything is aligned properly. I'm going to click control semicolon. Okay, so I can see everything seems to be aligned correctly. Excellent. So basically, this is how I designed the website. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can reach me on Twitter at MAK17 or you can drop me an email via graphicstv at gmail.com. So that's grafxtv at gmail.com. In the next episode, I'll be showing you my uh, workflow on how I design logos. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.